Hi, my name is Jalai and today I'll be grooming my quarantine eyebrows and talk to you guys about certain anime characters whose eyebrows left quite an impression on me because normally we're used to seeing anime characters with just an eyebrow line. I'm not here to teach you guys how to clean your own eyebrows, I'm simply here to clean my eyebrows the way I used to. If I still remember it of course. To be honest, I'm not even that confident if I still remember how I used to do it after so many months. But here we go. Okay, the first step that I do is brush my eyebrows. Then create a guide to see what I want my eyebrows to look like and identify what hair I'll be removing. I'm doing this in such a clumsy way. These are the lines your guide should follow. Don't worry, I'm gonna link it down below. I'm pretty sure you guys can do a better job than I did. Next step is plucking the eyebrows that's out of our guide. While I pluck my eyebrows, let's talk about the anime characters and their brows that left quite an impression on me. Some are strange, and some are just thick. And speaking of thick, first character is Rock Lee. When I think of the series Naruto, Rock Lee would always be one of the first characters in my head. He also seems very easy to draw because of his brows, eyes, and hair. A very iconic character. Next, of course, is one of my favorite, Shichan. I love this boy and how funny he is. In the Tagalog version, I feel like he's funnier because he was dubbed by the famous rapper and comedian Andrew E. And it was just perfect. Truthfully, it's refreshing to see a child character like Shin Chan because I had thick eyebrow hair myself which was growing out almost to the point that they're becoming one. Next is Yusuke or most famously known as Eugene in the Philippines. What's unique about how his character was drawn is that he had these extra hairs on his eyebrows like what I'm plucking right now. Again, another refreshing thing to see from an anime character because it shows a natural aspect or characteristic like what we have in real life. Fun facts, the voice actor of Yusuke, Nozomu Sasaki, is also the voice behind Ariel from Cardcaptor Sakura, Clef from Magic Knight Ray Earth, and many more. So in the 90s and early 2000s, having really thin eyebrows became a trend. I'm guilty myself, I did it in high school and I'm so glad having thicker eyebrows nowadays became a trend as well. Another caterpillar-like eyebrows is from Hunter x Hunter, Komugi. I hope I said that right and I hope you're familiar with her because so far they had the best art in my opinion. I never thought I would root for someone who had a snot on their face literally the whole time. If you loved Hunter x Hunter, you'll probably love My Hero Academia. Our next eyebrow contestant is Enji Todoroki, also known as Flame Hero or Todoroki's dad. His eyebrows is literally on fire. I think in Japan, having half-shaved eyebrows sort of became a trend. I'm not too sure what the story was behind this, but do let me know if you find anything. I kept seeing the style usually with men in mangas and from Japanese male models in the early 2000s. Not the fully shaved brows like Gaara, just half-shaved. Though Gaara does remind me of a practice in Japan called Hikimayu. Hikimayu was the practice of removing the natural eyebrows and painting smudge-like eyebrows on the forehead in pre-modern Japan. Hiki means pull and mayu means eyebrows. Just a bonus, if you've seen Spirited Away, you might have noticed the women working in the bathhouse. Their eyebrows sort of reminds me of the Hikimayu practice as well. Moving on to more unique brows, next up is Tumuki from K-On. Doesn't she have really cute eyebrows? They're almost shaped like a guitar pick in my opinion. 
Her vibe and personality reminds me of Tomoyo from Cardcaptor Sakura, who also, by the way, has thick eyebrows as well. Lee Shaoran, too. We also have Sanji from One Piece. Need I say more? Look how unique but very One Piece like his eyebrows are. Then there's Kyojuro and Goku from Demon Slayer, Dorothy from Gundam, England from Hitalia, who has such weird eyebrows it looks like notebook lines. And lastly, we have Commander Amarao from FLCL, whose eyebrows remind me of those dried seaweed wrapper sheets. I don't know. That's it for our animes, let's go back to our eyebrows. After plucking them, brush your brows upwards and you'll see hairs going outside the guide. Cut those. It's better if you use a small pair of scissors made for cutting the brows. Sorry, I couldn't find mine. Then brush your brows downwards and again you'll see hairs going outside the guide. Be very careful, don't overcut. Clean the surrounding area using a makeup brush. If you want to, you can also shave the remaining hair outside the guide. Then remove the guide and pluck a bit more if you feel like you have to. What do you guys think? I feel like it's still a little uneven. But you know, it's honestly better than I expected. Again, I'm doing this after so many months on lockdown. I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to talk about all the animes that have unique eyebrows. The ones I mentioned here are the animes that left the most impression on me. And if you guys have some of your own characters, I definitely would love to hear more about them. So feel free to comment down below. And remember, whether you have thin or thick eyebrows, if it accentuates your natural self or if it's what you're comfortable in, then it's really up to you. I do love my thick and messy eyebrows, but sometimes I do miss it when it looks this way. Or actually, maybe better than this. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos, please. Thanks for watching.